Hi there. Today, I'm going to talk about DevOps. DevOps is a set of practices that combines software development and IT operations. It aims to shorten the system development life cycle and provide continuous delivery with high software quality. DevOps for an application is much easier than DevOps for the database. The fact that database is a stateful application with critical data and challenges around rollback, downtime and testing makes it difficult to have a CI CD pipeline. However, Snowflake features such as time travel, zero copy clone and near zero maintenance assist in creating a robust CI CD pipeline. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Snowflake with Terraform, Schema Change and Git Actions to create a CI CD pipeline. As always, do like the video if you think it is useful and subscribe to this channel for more updates on data and AI. Let's dive in. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Snowflake with Terraform, GitHub uh, Git Actions, and Schema Change. So with Terraform, I'm using Terraform on Cloud, and I've created a workspace called DevOps. And inside this workspace, uh, just need to make sure that we have got variables which allow you to connect to Snowflake. So you have got Snowflake region, account, user, and password. This allows you to connect to Snowflake. And then uh, the token for this uh, Terraform is inside your user. So if you go inside the user settings in here, you can generate the token and then use this token in your GitHub. So I'll go to GitHub now. In, inside GitHub, I've created a workspace called DevOps. And I've got a workflow here which allows you to run jobs based on certain action. So if you look at the workflow here, the workflow says whenever there's a push in the main branch, then run my Terraform jobs to create any Terraform objects and then run schema change to create any schema change objects. Now, this is very simple workflow. I've combined both Terraform and schema change in one workflow, but you can have different workflows and you can have uh, actions based on different branches. So you can have branches, which is not just main branch, but uh, you know, uh, subsequent branches uh, for different core versions. And you can also have actions, just not push action uh, or trigger for just for push, but you can have triggers for also pull uh, from different repositories. And again, you can have workflows, uh, you know, based on your requirements. So I have this uh, workflow created here and inside my workflow i've got sorry inside my uh, devops workspace i've created a file called main.tf this is a file which will allow me to create terraform objects which will then create objects in snowflake so if you look here i'm using the organization and, and a workspace called devops and then i'm creating a table uh, sorry a database for devops and a schema called de demo demo underscore schema inside that a particular uh, database. Now, once I commit these changes, what will happen is it will go and connect to Terraform and it will uh, execute those, uh, create those resources, <clears throat> which will then create uh, resources inside a Snowflake. Now, this is my job, which is going to the workflow and it will show you what it's doing. So right now it's applying Terraform uh, objects and then it will go and uh, use uh, schema change and, and trigger any changes for schema change. But since there is nothing in this file to for schema change, uh, the only things it will do is create Terraform objects and the, that database and schema inside uh, Snowflake once it's finished. Oh, that's completed. The job has been completed. So what it has done is it has created uh, a database, a schema. Uh, inside your Terraform uh, resource and then also inside Snowflake. So if you go inside Terraform and I go into my workspace here, you can see that these are the two resources that we created. Uh, and then obviously on Snowflake side, if I go in Snowflake 
and click on my databases you can see here the devops uh, database is created and a devops schema and what happens with uh, with uh, schema changes it creates a schema change uh, schema and then inside uh, it will create a change history table which tracks all the changes uh, for that particular schema so now if i go here and upload uh, you know uh, files to create uh, tables uh, and and any data inside that uh, it will go and use schema change to update your uh, tables inside snowflake so what i'll do is uh, go inside my uh, code and then add a file and upload uh, files what i'm going to do is upload uh, files here so in this instance i'm going to upload a file called uh, version 1 initial objects which creates a table and then version 2 which is going to alter a table by adding a column and insert records and uh, also cloning the table so these are the two files we'll add and then it will go and have those changes inside snowflake using schema change so if i add the file and say commit it will trigger the workflow because I've uh, pushed the file into a main uh, branch and then uh, it will again, uh, if you go into workflow, it will show you what's happening inside the workflow. Obviously it will skip all the Terraform uh, objects because there's nothing uh, for Terraform and then it will go into schema change and it will apply those changes inside uh, Snowflake. Now the difference uh, between uh, Terraform and schema change is Terraform is a declarative uh, type of uh, database change management in which uh, that means you have one file for all the changes so uh, you just upload the final state of your objects and with schema change is uh, imperative style which means you have uh, initial changes and then you upload the files with only the changes or updates to the objects so those are differences between those two uh, tools uh, so what the recommendation is for your uh, Terraform use account level objects from Snowflake such as uh, databases, schemas, uh, users and so on and for schema change use your uh, you know schema level objects uh, which are tables and, and so on columns and so on uh, to up update uh, Snowflake. So it's had gone and ran at ran the schema change and what will happen is if you refresh this you should have a table here called hello world and then similarly in schema, schema change uh, i should have a history which it records the history of what's happening inside uh, my schema change so if i select the warehouse here and preview the data it said which file has been uploaded uh, using schema change now similarly if i go and upload the second file which is inserting data and cloning uh, a table it will go and do that using schema change so i'll upload the file we'll use this option and commit changes and again it will go and trigger the workflow and once the workflow is successful the objects will be created in schema change as well as inside your snowflake uh, database so in, in short, this is a very simple video. Uh, it's a simple process of integrating with schema change, uh, Terraform and Git Actions. Uh, however, you know, you can have as uh, much logic as you want based on your requirements uh, for your CI/CD pipeline inside these uh, three tools uh, to enable CI/CD for Snowflake. So really easy way to create uh, a CI CD pipeline and this should allow you uh, to have this uh, pipeline uh, with Snowflake uh, inside your project. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Until next time, please do take care and be safe. Thank you.